Hello and welcome to our lesson for today. Today we will be talking about parallelograms, trapezoids, and kites. So we will be learning more about them compared to our previous lesson. So now let's look into the picture. So this is the family of quadrilaterals. So under quadrilaterals, we have our parallelogram, trapezoid, and kite. As we focus on our parallelogram, we have our rhombus, rectangle, and square. While under trapezoid, we have isosceles trapezoid. Let's go on to the next slide to know more about them. Let's define our different parallelograms. We have a rhombus, a parallelogram in which all its sides are congruent. We also have our rectangle, which is a parallelogram in which all its angles are congruent. And lastly, we have our square, which is a parallelogram in which all its sides and angles are congruent. So as you can see in our pictures, this is a square, this is our rectangle, and this is our rhombus. So a square can also be a rhombus because all its sides are congruent. A square can also be a rectangle because all its angles are congruent. Now, let's go on to our next set of quadrilaterals. First, we have our trapezoid. It is a quadrilateral that only has one pair of opposite sides parallel. So it is our top side and the bottom one. While our kite is a quadrilateral with two pairs of congruent sides, but no opposite sides are congruent. So as you can see, this side is congruent with this one, as well as this side and this side. But the two sides opposite to each other will never be congruent. So now let's have some activities. Let's begin with our exercises to find the value of x. For our first one, we have our triangle. And what we need to do is solve for the value of x. So how do we find the value of x? We will use our theorem that states the mid-segment of a triangle is parallel to the base of the triangle. And its length is half as long as the base. So it tells us that the mid-segment is half of its base. So now, let's compute. Let's name this one as A and the other side as B. This part as C and this one as point D. So we have AB is equal to one half CD. So that would be 3x plus 3 is equal to 1 half 7x plus 1. So let's distribute 1 half. So 2 will be multiplied at the left side and 1 will be multiplied at the right side. So we have 6x plus 6 is equal to 7x plus 1. Let's put together the terms with the same coefficients. So we have 7x minus 6x, while on the other side, we have 6 minus 1. Therefore, x is equal to 5. To check if our answer is correct, we will substitute x with the value. So we have 3 times 5 plus 3 is 18. And for the other one, we have 7 times 5 plus 1 is 36. So 5 or the value of x is correct 
because 18 is the half of 36. For our next example, we have our trapezoid. So this trapezoid is isosceles. So the two sides, the one on the top and the one on the bottom is parallel, while the one on the sides are equal. And in our theorem, it says that when the trapezoid is isosceles, the base angles are congruent. So to find the value of x, we will equate 8x minus 1 and 7x plus 10 to each other. So we have 8x minus 1 is equal to 7x plus 10. So we have 8x minus 7x is equal to 10 plus 1. Therefore, x is equal to 11. Don't forget the degree sign. So our final answer is 11 degree. Now let's check our answer if it is correct. So 8 times 11 minus 1 is equal to 7 times 11 plus 10. So 88 minus 1 is equal to 77 plus 10. So 88 minus 1 is 87, and then 77 plus 10 is 87. So they are equal, therefore our answer is correct. For our next example, we have to solve for x. So this example is a kite figure, so it has four sides. And if you can recall, one of the theorems teaches us that a kite has exactly one pair of opposite angles that are congruent. So if the value here is x, the other side is also x. Since the kite is a quadrilateral, when you add all sides, it will be equal to 360. So our equation would be x plus x plus 170 plus 52 is equal to 360. So 2x plus 222 is equal to 360. We have 2x equal to 360 minus 222. So 360 minus 222 is equal to 138. 138 divided by 2 is 69. Therefore, our angle is 69. Let's try to add them together. So we have 69 plus 69 plus 170 plus 52. So that would give us 360. Therefore, our answer is correct. So for our last example, we have our trapezoid. So in this trapezoid, what we need to do is solve for the value of x. For us to be able to solve the value of x, we will apply the formula for the length of the median of a trapezoid. So the formula is median is equal to one half the sum of the lengths of the bases the sum of the lengths of the bases. So your bases would be the one on top and the one in the bottom. So now let's answer. We have 15 is equal to one half 
2x plus 3 plus 4x minus 12. So we have 15 is equal to 1 half 6x minus 9. 30 is equal to 6x minus 9. 30 plus 9 is equal to 6x. 39 is equal to 6x. Divide both sides by 6. We have 39 over 6 is equal to x. Or simplify, we have, so we have 13 over 2 is equal to x. So let's check. I will put it here. We have 15 is equal to 1 half 2 times 13 over 2 plus 3 plus 4 times 13 over 2 minus 12. So that would be 1 half. 13 over 2 times 2 is 13. 13 plus 3 plus 4 times 13 over 2 is 26. Minus 12. So 15 is equal to 1 half. 13 plus 3 is 16 plus 26 is 42. 42 minus 12 is 30. 30 divided by 2 is 15. So therefore, our answer is correct. So the value of x is 13 over 2. So that ends our lesson for today. I hope that you learned something new. So if you have more questions, clarifications, don't hesitate to ask me some questions. So I will see you again next time. Thank you very much.